Okay, hello, Hesting. Hello. Hello, how are we doing? How are we doing? Hopefully everything is sounding okay. As always, I am paranoid about the settings. I think we're all good though. Oh, tickety-boo. Joel, just hello. Hope you're both doing well, despite literally speaking to you both. Several times, did I? Um, we're getting into more Resident Evil today. Cheeky bit more Resident Evil. Um, I've been really enjoying it so far. We're sort of at the, like... I feel like we must be in the last quarter of the game, if not, like, the last, like... We might even be, like, four-fifths of the way through. Um, I, I honestly... Honestly feel like... It probably won't be this stream, but maybe next stream will be done with the main story. And then after that, I think we're on to... Onto the DLC, which is meant to be quite long as well. So November is going to be cleanup month for Cyberpunk and uh, for uh, Resident Evil for the most part, I think. And then we'll be doing some Disco Elysium on the side. So yeah, we've got some fun things. All be good. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. All right. Now it's time to try not to scream. I have to try and stop myself from going blur constantly. Yes, thank you for the bean redemption. Right, the thing is though, right, with the bean redemption going forward, I'm no longer scared. The worst two things on God's green earth are fucking gone. They've descended back to the depths of hell from whence they came. And now, actually that being said, we still have a potential rotten egg. And that's like a higher, it's not quite the worst circle of hell, but it's definitely on the way. Anyway. Alright. While the game's deciding what to do with itself. Oh boy, is that a... Looks like it could be cherry, earthworm, or cinnamon. Welcome back to cherry, earthworm, or cinnamon. I think that's Earthworm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> that's that's not okay. Wow, that worked. That really lingers, didn't it? I hate the Earthworm one so much because it literally just stick into your teeth a little bit. Kind of yikes, actually. And it's weirdly meaty. It's like it's kind of it's kind of fucking horrible, to be completely honest. Right, that's a good way to start the stream. Thank you, Jess. Fuck it all. Speaking of meaty, I think we're about to wake up in a meat locker. I say wake up. That's not how saving works. We're about to. Respawn in a meat locker. There it is. Meatage. Okay, how much? We need have. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Uh, oh wait, can we craft some? Craft some ammo. Make some more handgun ammo. That might be for the best, actually. Yourself, stranger. Stranger. Oh, that's right, we got the good gun. What was that? Was that chim chimkin? <gasps> got a little chimkin. I forgot there was a chimkin in here. Alright, we should just be able to go back on ourselves here, so I don't think we have to worry too much about more of those fucking things waddling about. More rats having a roam. My kin. Doing their thing. We should now have all of the keycard bits we need. The question remains of... Are there any more cursed things? General proximity of everything we need to do? The answer should be no. But it's also Resident Evil, so it could be yes. But in reality, I don't actually know. I didn't really... 
make a lot of sense there. Let's let's forget about that. Um, which way are we going? We're here. You survived the action section. Honestly, we got through it pretty okay in the end. I felt pretty good about it by the end, which is something I never thought I'd say, but... Yeah, we did okay. Alright, time to get in the door. Let me in, please. Um... There's something I'm... Oh, it's this, isn't it? I'm being stupid. Oh, fuck. Did I not get the thing? What was the thing I needed? What the frick? Was there a separate thing I didn't get? There might have been a separate thing. Yeah, hang on. Did we not get the thing in the freezer, though? Okay, so maybe it is back there still? I honestly don't know. I assumed we got all of them. Joel, if you remember, did you end up killing all of the the big lads that were having a run about? Or like the the lads that had survived all of the cryogenic freezing and stuff like that. The lads that could like reform. Did you end up killing them? Because I think that's what we've ended up doing. You didn't? Okay. Is that this bit? Yeah, so we've we've getting all of the key key we're getting Ashley out of um getting Ashley out of Dodge. Um You ran out of patience, okay. I think I started hacking at them with the knife honestly and it worked. But And bullets, yeah, I ran out of I ran out of bullets as well. I got very lucky, honestly, because, like, I used my bullets to, like, get rid of their leg leggies. And then, thankfully, that was enough to deal with uh, what, was what was left. Okay, knowing my luck, they've all fucking respawned, haven't they? Or do I need to get power back to this bit? My mistake. Where do we change the power again? Is it like here? Okay, that's it. So I panicked last time and forgot how the power thing worked. Okay, sure. But now this bit should have power. Something I didn't do before. There we go. Right, so there probably is another bad lad in here. Bad lad TM. Call me the bad lad. Bad. Do it, you cowards. Sound kinda sounds kinda yikes actually. Do we have any grenade? Nope. I guess we can test out and see how powerful this weapon is that we just got. Honestly, that seems pretty good, actually. Okay, 
Okay, well that's our ammo. Oh, shit, 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 shit. What can we craft? Also, we, um, when you have a sec, Joel, are we looking and sounding okay? It's all good if you're doing something else, dude. No worries. Just wanted to have a double check. That's all. We are indeed. Thank you very much, my dude. Okay, we need to combine that. But yeah, you can kind of tell when you're near the end of the Resident Evil game if your health thing is nearly all the way full. I'm using all of the, uh, the golden herbs. The old classic golden herb. Oh fuck, there's more of them. Okay, well, that's fun. That's what I thought, I killed them all. Nope. So I got really, really cowardly last time because I was out of bullets and it was dark. So I didn't end up doing as much John DiMaggio as I probably hoped I did. So I might end up having to employ the hit and run strat here. I have to go in here first. Once if I shoot this by default. There we go, that works. Oh, okay. There's one. One down. One more to go. Alright. Get him out of here because I think he heals in here. Could be wrong about that. But... Oh fuck, there's more than one of them. Okay, never mind, I'm fucked. Okay, um. There's a flash grenade kill. I know it sometimes instantly kills some of them, but. I don't know if that's always the case. Present for you. might be a bit of a suicide mission. I could be parrying a bit here as well. Do I have no knife left? Oh shit, okay. Yeah. 
day. Let's combine these quickly. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I love that they wait for me to get up. That's really considerate of them, actually. Um. Okay, well that's that's good. Oh, I can now see where the fucking things are. That's really annoying. Okay, that's good to know where that is now. Okay, we're gonna go buy some ammo and we'll be right back. In a minute, lads. Jog on, you bastards. Oh, is that more loot? That's more loot. That's a flash grenade. All new toilet grenade. I love you, kitchen gun. Literally just this way. Perfect. Okay, we need to buy first aid spray. Let's repair the combat knife as well. Yeah, more body armor. Uh, what else do we need? What's the thing that we're missing? Crafting. Just actual um powder it. Yeah. Uh okay. Travels. Welcome. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh my back is killing me. <laughs> a wise choice. Right. I know. I say that a lot, but I mean it. He means it. Will that be all then? Alright. Uh can we do the crown yet actually? That's a really good shout. Can we do that now? I think we can do the crown. Okay. Inlay gemstone. One. Uh uh. Ooh. Uh. Three. Five. A. 73,000, that's a lot of schmeckles. At any time, welcome. Stranger. Ooh, I'll pay a pretty penny for that. Of course he will. Alright. The man of Pleasant taste. Trap. Welcome. Clearly. What can I interest you? Okay, now we have a bunch of the crafts and things. Honestly, shotgun shells might be a way to go, but you'll like get more bang for a buck going. Yeah. <laughs> Hard times, mate. Indeed they are. Uh, what's this thing? Ah, 
flesh. Okay, we made the wrong kind of ammo. That. Uh, what do we usually? Full ammo. Bag. Welcome. Better to be over prepared. Am I right? Come back. Okay. Any time. Now have that one, though. so we should see, be able to see where the weak points are. On the, I seem to remember that being a thing where you could shoot exactly where the weak points were, and that will just like obliterate them, basically. Um, okay. Round two, you big bastards. Let's go. Thing is, where are they? Where are you? Shit, there they are. Ugh. This thing is controlled by bugs. Okay, so you can see internally where the big things are. Are they bugs? I think it's bugs, okay. That's what you just said in the thing, right? Okay. Well, we killed most of them. I don't think the other ones are perfect. Okay. That explains all the rifle ammo laying around. Thank you, game. Right, we have one left to kill. Right, I think. Get it done with. Oh, oh fuck, okay. Quat. Okay. Well, we got a wrench. I don't know if that's actually going to help or not. We did get a wrench. Alright, I think I'm going to hold on to that for a bit long. I don't think we need to do this. Can I craft anything else? Well, no uh, Any loot, precious? Yeah. Bits of loot. That's it. Dealt with all of them now, hopefully. I hope. <laughs> A tool from inside it, okay. Okay, so we can authenticate our keycard with level 3 clearance. Perfect. Alright. What the fuck's sake? Uh, 
fuck. Okay, hang on. No, we're fine. We're fine. Very lucky there, my god. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we have ammo. Okay. I can make submachine gun ammo. That's better than nothing, I'll take it. Good job, Leon. Proud of you. Alright. Oh, breaks over, I suppose. Welcome. Alright, what else can we do? Uh, I assume we're done with the range now. Sell that. Uh, what else do we want to do? Honestly, I think I'm just gonna try my luck and get out, I think. Okay, hopefully we're not too late with the Ashley thing. Oh, the background. Heck. Hey, you did it. Oh wow, she's properly infected now. Shit, but Leon's not. <laughs> Freya, welcome in. Wakey, wakey. I know, right? Imagine being woken up by Leon. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Another, let's save over that one, that's fine. Perfect, alright. Just in time. Can you stand? 
Where's Luis? He was worried about you. Until the end. Oh. Come on. We don't have much time. Let's get rid of these things. For Luis. Our boy Louis. Peter, come in. There's a lab where we can remove the parasites. A crazy hunch that you'd know where it is. Their most important facilities are housed in their sanctuary at the top of the mountain. That's where I'd look. Huh. Ada, the encyclopedia. Happy to help. Now you owe me. Wow. Of course. Okay, there's just a general synopsis on like how the infection has like just gotten to people again. Okay, a superior species, a species of plugger. Okay. Any aches? Honestly, reading the messages from people is like one of the saddest things in horror games. It's like you often get like people's last like <laughs> the last things they ever think or say in on like paper. It's it's yeah, it's kind of aches. Do we have everything we need? I think there's a, something for me and Ashley to interact with somewhere. Is it here? Gap in the wall. Alright. Got it. Here we go. Duh. Be careful. Hey. That's teamwork. Pretty much a master of unlocking. <laughs> we love that confidence though. Hell yeah. And there's another shop in there. Yeah. I can't remember if we're coming up to like end game end game. I feel that maybe they skip the whole bit with Krauser. Cruiser I, I keep forgetting his name. Okay, more blue medallion broken. Okay, it's in the area coming up. That's all good. KY, thank you for the bean redemption. I appreciate you. Alright, what are we going to get? So, Jess <laughs> managed to get me to have both of the terrible beans. So, we only have what is left, basically. There is either a rotten egg or marshmallow still in here. So, we might still have a bad one. Everything else is sort of stomachable. Stomachable? Tolerable, I guess is the word. Anyway, I hope you're doing well, KY. Okay, it's a green one, so it's gonna be grass or bogey. Hmm. A nice freshly cut bit of grass. Lovely. Hmm, thank you, Kawa. You're welcome. You're welcome. I've got 
some new items in stock. <laughs> Come take a look. I love how quickly he got over here. I love that he's probably just running around in like his own little like tunnel system to get around the map. It's like shit, Leon's gonna be here any minute. I've gotta prepare myself. Get all my items back in stock. Right, we might play around in the firing range for a bit as well, honestly. Welcome. I am tempted. I got something new for you. Got a selection. Got something Good new for me, eh? Uh, do we want this? I feel like a long range shotgun is more what we want. Like something that has a bit of range to it and kick, so I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. Wait, did he say? <laughs> At least that's what I thought. I was a lad. Well, a well -tuned weapon wow. Can make up for a lack of skill, friend. How rude! This lad insisting I have a lack of skill. Fair sake. Uh, thank you so much for the Persona Three vote. Um, I will put that in right now. Actually, I need to get more in the habit of like remembering and doing it. I believe I did them from yesterday. The votes that went in as well. So, yeah, Mother Three's at. 43 and Persona 3 is at 106. So Persona 3 is now at 107 votes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright. Um, thank you very much. Uh, let's see. So I've been saying this a lot, but when we're done with uh, Disco, Cyberpunk, and RE4, um, Cyberpunk, we only have the DLC left. RE4, we only have the DLC left and what's left of this. Money, and Disco is probably a... I don't know how far into Disco we are, actually. But when two of the three games are done, we're going to start playing um, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. And then after that, we have our first wheel spin. So we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. Then the first wheel spin ever will happen. Once we have like, it's it's most likely going to be into the new year now. But Persona has such a high chance of getting it. Does that mean it's more than a hundred percent chance of winning? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm already mad. I mean, honestly, if that is how that works, that would be massive, massive stonks right there. Um, but I wouldn't worry, Freya, because you got to remember you have the buyout clause of Joel having like a million channel points in his back pocket. And he's also on your side. So if you ever need like a big old point Take pick me up. Uh, Joel's got you covered. Honestly, I'm still kind of considering do I want to go with the remake or not? The one that's coming. The um, It's coming out in February, I think. Is that correct? It's coming out next year, right? The, the Persona remake? Persona 3 remake? Joel, what would you do if you don't win? Joel, are you there? Do you have any thoughts? Sir? I don't think Joel's in chat anymore, actually. I think Joel has gone to bed. Yes, very soon, February. Hell yeah. I think Joel would legitimately rage. Watch it be a game that has, like, no votes in it, apart from, like, the one basic vote it gets. It's gonna be something like Pikmin that has one vote. <laughs> Joel would be so angry. <laughs> um... Anyway, anyway, we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. But yeah, we might be playing the remake instead of the original. I'll, I think what I'm going to do, Freya, is if it wins, I'm going to ask you and Joel like a, fine out, a finite version of which one you two would like to see the most. Or which one you think would be the best to play based on what you guys know of the remake and stuff. And um, I will go with whichever one you guys uh, veto as like the best go-to one. So yeah. I will wait for your opinions. Uh, let's see, I think... I'm still messing around with this, because... Honestly, ammo capacity for this would be good. To get an eye combat and then we'll, we'll hold off on other things. Let's save quickly. Uh, da -da -da -da.
Right, it's time for the shooting range. This is my favourite. I just love how the stakes are so high and then there's a silly, silly little shooting area. It's so silly. Alright. Oh, I didn't get S in these. Alright, let's try these again. I'm going to try and get S in all of these. I still think I'm doing this wrong because the countdown timer is a lot bigger than I think it is. rank. I feel like that's the best one we've ever done. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder how we get a higher rank on that. Let's try this. Let's try this. Okay, I don't think we got them all in time. Boogie. Silver tokens, okay. You really All right. Pro, aren't you? All right. Let's begin Dave's gambling addiction. <gasps> okay, we got a, a rare one. We got Leon. Let's go. What is an ammo resale value? I don't feel like we're going to get a lot from that. So, like, if we sell ammo. I assume that's what that is, right? I don't know if, if if I like that one so much, but still, we're getting getting more for our collection. All right, bolt throw at time. Oh, you can get explosive things to your thing, can't you? you I keep forgetting that's a thing for these.
Shit. Shit. Okay, okay. worse okay i think i'm gonna have to accept that i just don't get s's on every single one Yeah, we ain't got this, do we? Shotguns at range. Shit. We still got an A. Pretty happy with that. Two golden tokens from it. Okay. Alright, I've got to stop before this whole stream becomes the... <laughs> Comes the uh, shooting range special or oh, normal? Okay, yeah, not bad one. All right, time to go back up. In this time, we probably could have got Leon cured, but no. Instead, we continue to go to the arcade. Do our own thing. Okay. Whatever's funnest for you, babe. Yeah, honestly, I agree. I agree. But this, I do want to get into the the meat of the rest of the game. I also feel like this segment is gonna definitely still be here when I come back. Oh, can I just sell that? Oh, I can. Hell yeah. Thank you. Pleasant All right. Travels. Let's get going. Oh, this feels kind of final area E, isn't what we're coming up to, like, kind of big? Okay, we have a bunch of medallions to find as well. Okay, where else are these medallions? Is there one somewhere? There are five we have to find? Is there another one up here? There 
There it is. Awesome. Alright. Is there loot down there? Oh, it looks like there is some treasure down there. Alright. What's in the bins? Gold bangle. Very cool. Very cool. Anything else in the bin? Oh, there are some lads around. Okay. That went well. What else should we make? I feel like handgun ammo is good to have. I feel like rifle ammo is going to be needed though. We're talking like big picture. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. Is that the thing making that sound? Okay. Uh, do we know what layer that's on? The upper or... Oh, I see one. Nice shot! That. Is there another one, like, up here somewhere? Ah, there it is. Okay, we have one more to find. It's over there. Okay. It's all good. Alright, we need to go back on ourselves to get some loot anyway. Good thing there's a ladder here. Oh, there's some ammo down there as well that we need. Oh, it's that. That's what it is. Wow. Okay. Alright, let's go get that ammo that we missed. Yeah, it's down there. Okay. There it is. Alright. I assume we can't go through that way, which is why, yeah, why we have to go down here. Perfect. Alright, and we already have one medallion left to find. That's pretty good going. I can live with that. And there's some more loot we can get. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Let's go. Uh, oh, is it? Are, are we going to be able to see it from over here, actually? Be like... Aha! Hey! Hey Legion! No, I ended up leaving it in the end. It was. It looked like it was like a E3 exclusive look at Dragon Age before it released. Um, so I watched like a few seconds of it, and then it looked, it looked like a really, really bare bones version of the dwarf opening. 
um, like a really like pre-alpha version. So if you if you're interested, go have a look. I'm sure it'll be somewhere on YouTube. But uh, but yeah, no, we didn't bother going back to it though. All right, we can hand in a contract. E. What can I do you for? A deal well. Don't get yourself killed now. All right. Okay. Perfect. We can save over that. Wunderbar. Good <laughs> shit. Okay. Let's get going. Yeah. It didn't sound like it was a very important one. At least it didn't really have any like plot that was. Super, super unique, I don't think so. But yeah, it's all on YouTube. Someone would have uploaded it somewhere. Uh, is there anything hidden? No. Okay, we're all good. We are a okay. Is it herb? Uh, oh, we could have got um. Get to sold that fish actually. Yeah, no, we got through witch hunt and we got through um uh Darkspawn Chronicles or whatever it was called. Um they were they were pretty good. Overall I think the DLCs are probably they're okay. I I would probably only strongly recommend the base game, to be completely honest, but the DLC still had some like unique stuff to it. Come on. What ending did we do in Witch Hunt? Um what did we do in Witch Hunt? All right. Yeah, no big deal. Honestly, I can't remember. I have the VOD up. I honestly can't remember the ending for Witch Hunt very well. I think she went through the portal, and I think we let her go in the end. We let her just do her thing. I think that's the ending we got. Um, we said goodbye to her as a friend, and then just let her leave. Um... But, uh, but yeah, honestly, Darkspawn Chronicles is interesting, though. Getting to play as the baddies in, like, an alt timeline. That was kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, that's the way we came. It's fine. Okay. Um, I probably will say Witch Hunt is probably my favourite DLC. The ones about Morrigan and Liliana were the most interesting. Um, I thought Awakening was good, but it was a bit long. Uh, the Golems one I didn't really care for. And... Uh, I think that's it, isn't it? Is that all of the DLC at that point? I think it is. So yeah, I probably... I'd put Golems of Amorak at the low, at the bottom. I didn't really care for it. Then I'd probably put Awakening. Then I'd put... Hmm. What would I put? Then I would put out of the DLC. That's a good question. I don't actually know. I think I put Witch Hunt, Liliana's top two, so some between the two of them, and then Darkspawn Chronicles like in the middle. I've heard honestly that people like it. I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's on our wheel system that we've got for future games. So um I'm kinda like I'm kinda willing to give them a go. I'm honestly not that um that put off the idea of trying it. But I, I'm aware that a lot of people have the same opinion as you, Legion, where it's like it's not their favourite thing. Or it doesn't quite do it for them compared to um Compared to uh, Dragon Age Origins. No, that's everyone's baby. 
Is that bucket glitching through that cabinet? That sure is happening there. Okay. Ashley. No problem. All right. Okay. We're gonna go do that. Now we're gonna pray that there's no baddies that are just gonna appear. You'd recommend playing it, but most Dragon Age fans play it once. That's fair enough. I mean, I know I have a few friends that have played it, and they say that they like legitimately think it's their favorite for like story purposes. Ashley. Over here. Keep coming. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, in honesty, it's like to each their own. But, um, yeah, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Either way, it's got to get voted for and picked on the wheel system we've got yet anyway, so it's going to be quite a wait till we play the next one, I think. Okay. Let's go. Uh, okay. do we not... Uh, oh, we unlocked the door, didn't we? So we don't have to... Sure, 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 I remember now. I remember. Alright, this way, Ashley. Ow. Uh, BRB, but I'll let no worries at all. Take it easy, Freya. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I rage quit the OG version of RE4. I will say that, so I didn't grow up with um, with Resident Evil 4, the original. I know a lot of people did, so I I think that it's completely fair and valid to people to have like a lot of fond memories of it. Ew. Yuck. Big old yuck on that front. Oh shit, is she okay? Ashley? She okay? Alright. Yeah. Um but yeah, um RE4 I, I I like the original, but I think this remake is my favourite Resident Evil game, not gonna lie. It's really, really good. It's it does it literally um changes all of the slightly tedious things about the original and it's just like oh it's it's so good. It's so good. This is exactly what I want from remakes. Like this and the Final Fantasy VII remake. Oh, Chef's Kiss. An RE2 remake as well. Honestly, any of the remakes for Re Resident Evil and Final Fantasy have been pretty solid across the board. But yeah. During the village bit at the start of the game. Uh, it gave you everything but health herbs. Yeah, you can sometimes get like some really bad luck with drops and things like that. Um, in this version of... Or I don't know if this is a thing in the original, but in this version you get certain cases you can equip. Um, and certain keychains you can equip from winning through the shooting gallery that give you more drops and things like that. Um, so I think that they've done, they've done a much better job of trying to like... Uh, make it a bit more accessible. Um, 
or like at least giving you ways to sort of get around the the drop system, right? It's um still <sighs> smells pretty bad. You okay? Yeah. That's why this one killed me though. <laughs> That's fair enough. Yeah, I get that rage. As a kid as well, like I don't know. Game, the experience of playing something is sometimes a bit different. Has Dave been spooked yet? Not properly British, but I hope you're doing well. We saw some spoders a bit ago. And as everyone knows, I am not a spoder person. They were like scary zombie spoder things. They were lawfully. We go at the same time, yeah? Got it. Wow, they gave us such a big gap there. I thought we were going to have to do that perfectly, but it's so like... <laughs> there's such a big old thing there. You still rage now? Honestly, I rage too. It depends on how bullshit something is, honestly. Or like, how old the game is. Like, I feel like the game's been pretty fair across the board here. I don't think there's ever been a... Stay here. No a single instance where I felt cheated in the RE4 remake yet. Really? I don't remember being cheated in the remake, at least. Um. Okay. How are we doing? Let's... Can we craft some ammo? We can. We've got some shotgun ammo. Might just be a good idea to have. There's something big coming up, though. That's what I was trying to hit, sir. Thank you. Oh shit. What the fuck? Stubborn son of a bitch. Jesus. Cuddly bastard. Cuddly bastard indeed. British, how's Alan Wake 2 going? You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm good. Oh, speak of the devil. I'm good. Uh, you've just been playing some Alan Wake 2. He now is into it. Oh, you still got loads left to do. Eating some noodles before bed. Hell yeah. Sounds good. Um, I'm glad that you're getting on well with Alan Wake. I'm glad that there's so much to do as well with 15 hours in. I will. I love that AAA games are finally feeling long again. <laughs> and more than just like... That's the one thing I will continue to feel about Metroid Dread, is that although I've not played it, the fact that that game's about, like, 8 to 10 hours long for some people, that feels like a massive rip-off considering the amount you're paying for a Nintendo game. So, I'm glad to hear... I'm glad to hear that you're, like, getting a lot out of it and, you know, it's only just the beginning still. Yeah, that's fair enough, Legion. Like, sometimes you do just kind of, like, have to accept that, okay, especially with older games, like, I definitely had moments with even, like, Dragon Age Origins, where I was thinking, this game is, like, dated, and it's a certain, like, quality of life things are bugging me big time. Um, but yeah, I, I, I get what you mean. Like, you, depending on, like, the circumstance and whatever it might be, you do kind of just build up a tolerance to it a lot of the time. So I get that. I get that. Uh, the other night, you had one of the best moments in video game history. Oh, really? Damn it. I feel like this game's gonna leave such a big impact on you, British. I'm like... I'm genuinely intrigued to see how you feel about it, like, at the end of your playthrough. Okay. We go at the same time. Yeah, okay. Shit. One more time. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get it this time. This time for sure. Hey. Alright. Okay. Good stuff. You did it on Nightmare, and it broke- oh, that's right, I remember you saying, it kept breaking. My kin? My rat kit? Tell me news of the north, my kin. 
please do not kick the rat, Leon. If you kick the rat, I'll be furious. Good, okay. Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it, dude. No power. Oh, honestly, I I could rant about the Dark Souls and from soft games and their jankiness, but I feel like it's not gonna be wise to do so. I uh, <laughs> I have a lot of respect for FromSoft games, but I don't love them because I do feel like for a game that's based so much on like uh, precise movement and being like very tactile with the way you work, the game being so finicky and bullshit with the way that it like has hitboxes work and like the platforming and things like that, I legit. I, I don't really feel like I can <laughs> get behind the momentum of those games that other people have with it. It's just... It's one of those things where it's... I don't know. It's a bit much. The Stunlock is the worst in those games? Yeah. Stunlock's pretty bad. I don't really like the concept of like iframes and things being a thing as well. It's kind of a bit like... I don't know. If it was a little bit too meta, I guess. I don't know. It's just, it's not really for me. It's not really for me. I also like games with story in it. <clears throat> no shade being thrown at FromSoft games, but... Um, unless you're reading, reading bits, I just don't really care for it, but... To be honest, I love Dark Souls. Felt like a lightning bolt. I can't get into uh, uh, the other games too much. As in just Dark Souls as a franchise, or the first Dark Souls? Because I know that Dark Souls 1 is, like, everyone's baby. For context as well, Legion, and, and British as well, I, I've i only really played Dark Souls 3, so I that's my my point of reference, and that's why I, uh, I feel that way. I know that Dark Souls 1 has got, like, a very, its very own set of, like, jank and various things that come into play, but... Um, even then, I feel like it's still probably, like, it's a learning curve, right? I think you've got to get used to it. You've got to adapt to the way the game works and the way the game plays. And I get it. I do get it. It just, it feels very, it feels like you're being a bit cheated sometimes in those games, I think, is the biggest issue for me. I don't know. I know that everyone loves the first one. So, yeah, I've only played Dark Souls 3. I think I would play Elden Ring eventually, but I'm not really interested in any of the others. I like the idea of Bloodborne, but I don't think I'm that, that like, invested to go and play it. Yeah, exactly, British. I actually completely and utterly agree with that. I'm, I'm very much a story person in games. I don't really care about, um... Of course, like, I want a game to function well and to play nice, but I, I'm also not, like... A, a stickler for like certain things either with like um a game having to feel like revolutionary or like super super innovative with like how it does things or whatever so i'm i'm kind of in the mindset of um i don't know i just like a little bit of story you know what i mean even if it was just a little bit even just a tiny little bit of story i'd love it but yeah You yeah, have played the others, um, and then uh, Bloodborne, but they're not the same in your opinion. That's totally fair. That's the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the thing with those games. I think like it doesn't sound weird, but maybe it's like a Pokemon kind of situation where the first one you play ends up being your first, you know, like your favorite sort of thing. Oh shit.
Okay. thing so much oh, for fuck's sake mm. is that all of them dead yeah the grenades? I don't think we do. Okay. Jet. Alright, okay. Is anybody else going for Ashley? No, okay, we're just gonna run then. You don't have to hold that there, for fuck's sake. Got the bridge. Oh. Hell yeah. That work? Thanks. Hey. You're welcome. That actually work? Oh my god. Hell yeah. I mean the story is there, but uh I get it would be nice if they there was more telling rather than just the opening cutscene. Honestly, yeah, I I think that's the thing, right? I I really like characters in the FromSoft games like Sigurd from Dark Souls 3. The characters where it's like, you get a little bit of their, like, the characters that actually talk. I guess that's the thing, is that in, in Dark Souls it's so far and few between that you actually meet characters that you can sit down and talk with. Like, the game just feels very empty and like you're just like, killing like everything in sight and it's, I don't know, it's, I get it, I get it if that's your thing, but it's, for me it really just isn't like a... Uh, as much of a, you know, a must. But at the same time, I do completely understand the, the appeal of, of FromSoft games and why they're, why they're so popular, though. So. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, completely out of ammo, though. My god. Game, please give me ammo. Thank you. The game heard me. And it took pity on my soul. Sad that my ratkin didn't help out, but... Okay, I can live with it. Sure. Yeah, I, I. That's. Yeah, that must be annoying, British. Having like. Uh, having people like annoy, like, ruin those for you as well. Or like annoying, like ruining the story for other people. But yeah. That's, you know what, that's fair Legion. As I say, I've not really played one, so it might be a very different experience. I, I'm purely going off of what I've seen of 
my friend, uh, my friend of mod Hello, Joel stranger. is playing Dark Souls 2 on stream a bit ago, and that looked really tedious and monotonous, and like, I'm, I'm not sure why people would play Dark Souls 2, but fair enough if they like it. Fair enough, right? But yeah, like, I assume that Dark Souls 1 was like, in not quite as like, buggy. I'm not killing the rats, stop telling me to kill rats game. Did I kill two rats? Oh no. When did that happen? My kin. But yeah. You stopped going in, uh, into the parties you had? Every day they would play a game and say, I'm doing this. Have you done this? I got this weapon, I bought this boss. But I honestly don't enjoy that from people. When people are like, hell bent on being like, oh, have you done this yet? When you're very clearly, like, this is a bit of a streamer rant from Dave here. And most of the time, everyone's really, really great about this, so thank you for being so good. But we, like, when people join and they're like, oh, is this this bit? And I'm like, no, I haven't, I haven't done this yet. Please don't tell me what's coming up. I want to play the game. <laughs> I want to play the game and experience it for myself. Um, it, I don't know. It's, I completely understand that mentality, actually, British. It's, it, yeah. It can be a lot. Yeah, the second is terrible. Yeah, my friend Joel, my jo my friend Joel completely rage quit that game. Completely, completely rage quit that game. And he's someone that likes FromSoft as well, like the FromSoft games. It's, yeah. Um. Okay, do we want to? Uh, we should probably do some, to suit your cross and your do some repairs. Your eyes. Maybe more power into the knife might be good. Fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. Try that on for size. We'll come back any time. Okay. All right, we do need more ammo, but I can live with that. I think that's fine. Yeah, honestly, British, that's such good etiquette to have going into a stream. I always ask, like, you know, are you at, uh, excuse me, where are you at, right? That sort of thing. That's so much better, and the streamer will always appreciate that. And it also gives the streamer a chance to, like, try and, um, you know, process what they've been doing as well. In my case, that's sometimes Hero. needed. <laughs> Where Dave Brains chipped in, it's like, uh, what did we just spend the last 30 minutes doing? Um, so no, I agree. I think that's a, it's a good thing. For sure. That's a good thing. A good way of doing it as well. Uh, let's make more handgun ammo. I feel like that's very much needed. It looks like we might be dealing with a boss in a sec as well, so. That'll be fun. The lift. If we could do something about this wall. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder what we can do about this wall. A wonder wall, if you will. I said maybe. That's fair though, like, I feel like... I can't get away from, uh, with backseeing. I think knowing if there's a bit of bug or something there that stops them from progressing is a good thing to know, but... Yeah, it's, it's always probably best if the streamer themselves is like, you know, I currently can't do this. This bit, can I have some help from chat? It's usually if they directly like speak to chat as well. I didn't mean to do that. That's a big old whoopsie for me. Go 
move it. Yeah, you're. Is there any actual benefit to doing this? I don't actually know, honestly. We we can't even jump across there. Okay. Uh. Sure. Okay. A wrecking ball. Well, <laughs> Ashley's new job. I got this. Demo de demolition crew, Ashley. Let's go. kids in school these days? <laughs> Have you never heard of driver's ed? Get back. Do it. Swing the thing. Hell yeah. One it. Uh, uh, uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here come the... Here they come. Leave our friends to me. Time to run. Shit. You bastard. I was hoping that would hit more people, not gonna lie. Okay, uh, we need to heal quickly. I feel like that's okay. Let's do that. Sure. Uh, let me catch up with chat as well. Yeah, let me know about Awakening. What's up? What's the thing? What's the thing? <laughs> I think when people back see it, I'm just going to go to the house and ask for the <laughs> controller to play it. Hell yeah. Right, how's the weather been for you? Uh, areas in your town have got flooded. It's been really, really bad with the rain. Thankfully, where I am, it's quite high up. Um... So it's it's not been too bad, um, too too bad for me. But um, it's been pissing it down with rain for like the last couple of days. It's been really rough actually. 
Vashley doing okay? Ashley's doing alright. Oh, sure, yeah, 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 Legion, I remember that, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dropped another one. Fuck. These people don't learn. I thought I evaded that. Fuck, 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 fuck. To craft anything. That'll have to do. Right. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Alright. Right, we're gonna munch the fish and we're gonna use a grenade. There you go. Alright, that grenade actually went down pretty well. In our favour. Oh god, okay. Uh Okay, is that it? Hell yeah, alright. Doing it, Ashley. You okay? <laughs> Did you see me? That was awesome. I think you might have found your calling. Hell yeah! Time to join the wrecking crew. That's that's definitely your thing. Oh really? Wow, so you can just win by having everything <laughs> bugging it out and getting them to guard everywhere? That's silly. For context in Dragon Age Origins Awakening, we have to distribute, like... We have to decide, make a tough decision where we have to, like... Uh, pick out... Um, where we want all of, uh, one of these, like, big cities, um, enforcement and, like, guards to go. And, um... You have to make a sacrifice, or like, you have to make a decision of like, okay, do I want all my things to go here or here? Oh god, okay. I don't like the fact we just got a contract for that. Um, and yeah. That's nuts, though. That's kind of funny. Alright, we're gonna go back and save quickly as well. What I remember. I love that. Ashley gets down like a normal person. Leon's like combat roll time. Oh, we can't actually go back up there. I was hoping we'd be able to save, but alas, I do not think that is an option for us, sadly. Alright. Time to go up. Best we can only really protect a few things. Because of the bug, you can just give everyone guards. That's that's kind of funny. I'm um, amazed that there's a programmed outcome for that. Like, it feels like it would contradict, especially if it's intended that not everyone is going to be protected. I wonder if it was maybe initially the idea that everyone could be protected, and then they just like forgot to patch it out again. I don't know. Very weird. Well together. 
don't we? I guess so. Right? Maybe someday I'll become an agent like you. What do you think? We could protect the U.S. from any and all threats. <laughs> Is that right? Well, either way, first we have to make it out of here. <laughs> you're no fun. We're trying to keep you safe. You're the president's daughter. But that doesn't mean you can't be an agent. Keep dreaming. You could be a wrecking crew operator person. You can be uh, an agent if you want to be. Keep at it. get yeah barrel time hell yeah and some rifle ammo was that very cool all right okay well this could be interesting especially if we were just given rifle ammo any lockers in there or anything maybe not okay all right in we go Handling the ammo deposits from underneath the castle. Holy body slumber, huh? Okay. Oh, okay. That's a really way of processing that. Really, really weird way of processing that. This must be what Luis was talking about. Okay. Oh wow, that's a big old block. Big old blocker. Don't mind if I do. Any loot I've missed doesn't look like it. I see, okay. So, oh, of course, yeah. So the end screen in Dragon Age is also like a, um, a Fallout New Vegas-esque kind of deal where it's like, depending on the actions you've made throughout the game, it'll give you little like uh, like a PowerPoint presentation almost of like the outcomes of everything that happened. Okay, so it, it, on that you mean it just gives you all of the positive outcomes as opposed to like one positive, one not so good and one negative sort of thing. Okay, that makes more sense I guess. To live in any human, uh, sorry, in any vertebrae, be it human, dog, or even a crow. Oh God, okay. Oh God, Annabelle. Oh no. Is this what happened to her? Because they were saying that she was taken off. Okay. Well, I know what's going down a little bit more at least. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, I see. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, of course, of course. The choices carry. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, that's where they came. The. Prostrate yourself. This is our holy body. Our divine providence ensued. Such a profound blessing for all. Lost planet. Welcome, Ugh. my children. Yikes. I am Osman Sattler, the speaker for our Lord. Tell someone who gives a shit. Foolish lambs. Why do you deny grief? You know we should now, oh, shit. your body. Obey. Obey the voice of our Lord. Yikes. Oh shit. Sweet child, do not resist. <laughs> Out of ammo. Ruh -ru. Pray forgive these wicked sinners. My faithful disciples shall deliver to you your penance. Now, child. You need not be afraid. Submit your body and release yourself from fear. I would love if they ever did an RE4 movie or adjacent thing. Sad this should be played by Ralph Fiennes. 110%. I think he'd do a really good job with that. That guy has like some Voldemort energy to him. I think Ralph Fiennes would do a good job with that kind of role. It's kind of yikes though. Sadler, you bastard. Well, there goes Ashley. Just after she was saying we should work as a team. How dare. Out of very dare. All right, do we have everything reloaded? Yeah, we do. All right. I feel like I'm gonna hate this segment. The island will be a giant fortress. Jack Krauser, there he is. Holy shit, okay. Hopefully this will not alert everybody. Knowing my luck that has now alerted everyone our current location. Okay, did we get everything from there? Yes, we did. I 
throw a grenade down there? Yes, I can. Did that get all of them? It might have done. I actually don't know. Let's just say it did. Let's do it. You know what we haven't seen in a while? We haven't seen any snakes in any barrels. I don't want to jinx it, but I think we might be past snake country now. Oh yeah, we got like a bunch of people with this. Okay, we got gold bar. Submachine gun ammo, very cool. waiting to have a snake in that barrel <laughs> once he <you> said that. <laughs> Shame it didn't have one. Is it bad to say? I was looking at the barrels and thinking I haven't had to worry about what's in these barrels for a long time and then I talked about the snakes. In the back of my mind I was like maybe that would make a really good twitch clip. <laughs> but no. But no. Not this time. Not this time. Legion, thank you for a bean redemption. Alright. Okay, so today we have had earthworm and grass. Flavoured beans, it's been very good. What else are we going to get? I'm not looking. We have a, a few things left in the, in the pot. This looks like it could be bogey, apple or grass. We'll wait and see. Hmm. That is another grass worm. Oh yeah. Love me some freshly mown grass. Let's go. Thank you, Legion. Legion, for context, they're not even the worst ones. The worst ones are rotten egg and vomit. They are literally disgusting. You've had them before? Yeah. Okay, so a reporter wanted to expose him potentially and they just didn't didn't go about it. Legion, thank you for the votes for Oblivion. I'll put those in now. 
Also, look at this baby face picture of Leon that's on the screen right now. What a little bab. A little baba. Alright, thank you very much. So, Oblivion. What's Oblivion on right now? Oh, the scrolls. There it is. Uh, right, 13 for Oblivion. Right, so Oblivion should now be on 13 on the wheel. Perfect. There we are. Perfect. Thank you very much for your votes. Alright, I'm waiting. This is a creepy picture as well. That's literally such a baby face for Leon. Played it. I've never played Oblivion before, no, it'll be my first time. I have played Skyrim before, um, and I didn't love it, but I can see why people like it. But I'm going to be playing it modded on stream if it wins, or gets gets picked on the wheel. So, yeah, that'll be next. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to play Oblivion. It looks really goofy, <laughs> so I think I'm going to like it. I know it's probably not meant to be, but the, the, the zoom in on face, like... <laughs> The animations where it just zooms in on people, it, it tickles me every time. Yeah, I would be intrigued to see how that works. Shit, so this is about abducting Ashley. Shit. Oh, is this about how they what they're doing with Ashley now? Uh, okay. Do we have a uh, typewriter in here by chance, game? Any typewriters about? Oh really? You think so? You think one one led to the other sort of thing? I'm now also super paranoid because they said that crows and things like that also can have the the virus in them. I'm now terrified of all of the uh, those things as well. Wow! Look at this. This is so like extra. <laughs> like these crows terrify me. Look alive, rookie. I remember this now. This is really bullshit when I played it in the original. I also don't have a ton of ammo going, I don't think. Get some rifle ammo and some more handgun ammo. Alright. Time to pray. Oh, <gasps> oh boy. <laughs> Oblivion, the gods are another level in Oblivion. Listen, I've seen the zoom in shots and things. It looks so janky, I'm already in love. In all of those videos where they're like mocking the uh. <laughs> mocking the way it all plays out is so funny. Oh, <laughs> especially when you're walking in the woods, no torches, and the guard out of nowhere comes up to you and you spin around. I'd be terrified. I think I'd, that's legit a jump scare for me. I would probably shit myself. Crossing your T's, dotting your eyes, that's the way to be. There you are, right. as you wish. Anything else I can help you with? I'll buy. It. That's a lot of crystals. Holy shit. Can we inlay enough gemstones? 
What's going to go for more? This is probably going to go for more, right? Uh... Don't quite have enough of that yet. That's okay. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we can tune up a few other bits as well. I feel like our pistol should be max power. Feels, I think we just should Better do up our pistol. Yourself. Honestly, I'm happy with that. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> All right. I feel like we're as prepped as we're gonna be. You love Manslayer's parody of it. I'm not sure if I'm not sure about the parody you mean, but the parodies I've seen have been like people imitating the guards, just in like real life scenarios and just walking around, and like the stop you violated the law, that sort of thing. Like that might be the same dude. I'm not sure if that is though. Oh, it is those ones. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Uh, remember a glitch on Oblivion? Uh, patch now. Uh, there was a member of the liberal city, uh, sorry, Imperial City, uh, where his gold stayed in his pocket. He would constantly get it. Oh god, okay. So what, if you kept, like, pickpocketing? Like, you could just keep getting it on a loop? Is that what you mean, British? Is that the thing? I love when you're fighting the guards and you hit them. They say, I'm on your side. Man says more of a machinima. I see. Okay, got ya. Got ya. 40 pieces on loop. That's pretty good, though. That's a, that's a good bit of, you know. Those are some good oblivion stonks right there. Some good oblivion stonks. Okay, well, it's been two hours, guys. So I think I'm actually going to wrap up for today. Uh, but thank you for watching. It's been a good stream. I, honestly, I'm really enjoying RE4. It's been great. Um, so I'm intrigued to see what is going to be coming up next. I think we're about to fight military style. I remember this segment coming up. I remember it, remember it being a little bit tedious in the original. So I'm hoping it's going to be a bit more bearable here. Um, but yeah, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Uh... You knock the guy out, pickpocket him, and every time he woke back up, you knock him out again. Wow. <laughs> You're just perfectly concussing in British. Um, thanks for stream. No worries at all, Freya. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. His most famous one is Stop Right There, Criminal Scum. You violate the law. Um, oh, sorry. Violated my mother rather than the law. Oh, I see. Got you. Got you. I don't think I have seen those ones then. I think it's like... Yeah, I can't remember which ones I've seen then. It's 1am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, KY. Thank you, Legion. Thank you, Freya, of course. Thank you, British. Thank you, anybody else that stopped by and looked. I really, really appreciate you being here. And yeah, I will be back tomorrow. Um, I need to change the schedule, but I'll be back tomorrow. Probably with a little bit more Resident Evil 4. I think I'm feeling a little bit more like pushing on with RE4. Um, I do not know what time yet. Probably around the same time we started today. Maybe a bit earlier. I'm not sure. And then on Saturday, I think we might play Cyberpunk. Maybe. It'll either be Cyberpunk or it'll be some disco. Um, so I will see what I'm feeling like. Honestly, it might even be Resident Evil. I don't know yet. But we'll wait and see how I feel. Alright, have a good evening everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.